right cancer tell me the answers baby what is going on with you my dears it is mira it is shira it is vira it is scorpion red tarot and i am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of august 2020 show me the money energy i know that i'm late but i'm always great baby and make no mistakes you have come to the right place listen so if there's anyone that has booked a personal or private reading who has sent in a, a deck that is donated a deck through the Amazon wish list you know sent any support um, of these videos resonating through the cash app and PayPal I just want to give a big big thank you to each and every one of you guys for all of the love and support especially throughout this um, you know corona thing that's been going this COVID thing that's been going on um, I appreciate you guys very very much for all the love and support um, if there's anyone who would like to book a personal or private reading you know to go ahead and click that about tab my pricing list and how to connect with me on Instagram is on that about tab I do video readings so I typically do it on Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, we can do it on Google Hangouts. The only thing that we need to exchange is our email addresses. And mine is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So if you have any questions or concerns about booking a reading, the pricing, the date and time of availability, message me on um, uh, Instagram Messenger or email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. And again, um, the Cash App, the PayPal, and the Amazon wish list is there if you guys would like to send support to the page. So again, thank you guys. Um, to all my OGs and my newbies, just shout out to every last one of you guys. You know, as we always do, I always give acknowledgments and praises to the Creator before we get into any energy. So, we want to get into that right now. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. Father God, we've been in search for the answers for a long time. We've been doing this self-research about ourselves. We've been finding out a lot of beautiful things about ourselves. We've been purging energy that we no longer want to exist in our frequency anymore. We've been making the best way that we can. and We've been putting our best foot forward, Father God. So please give us guidance for the sign of cancer. Please give us the answers that we've been looking for for August 2020. Show me the money energy. G, and we thank you so much for all of the blessings laid ahead for us, Father God. Amen. All right, Cancer, let's get into this girl or boy, whoever you are right now. All right, so I'm going to put these cards face down and then we're going to reveal them one at a time. Well, looks like yours wanted to be revealed now. You got the fault line. And then you got Eros. So you got the fault line and Eros. So the fault line to me is like there's a splitting energy within you. It's I feel like something is, is, is tearing you away or something is splitting apart. Something is dry. Something is it's 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 lacking moisture. I feel like you there's an emotional void here in your life, Cancer. Like things are dry, cracked, and brittled. And I feel like it's putting you on one side of the fence and putting someone else on the other side of the fence. So I don't know if there's a relationship that is very, very dry and stale. And that there's a separation. And it needs nourishment. It needs moisture. It needs to be revived. You know what I'm saying? Like it needs... Some fucking userin. Like, that look like someone cracked this elbow that needs some userin, bitch. Listen. All your skin after you get out the goddamn book. Listen, don't just be... Listen, come on now. Euros. Euros to me represents, like, your lust for life, your, your, your crave for life, your speaking blessings into your existence so it's something in your life right now that you feel like is missing something that's dry something that you should have isn't being had right now in your life you know what i'm saying and you're trying to use your vocal skills your your tool of of speech of voice to speak in these blessings into your life you know um it seems like you are trying to call back something that was missing something that's missing something that's been missing and realize that it is so important to know what comes and what rolls off your tongue you know what i'm saying what rolls off of your tongue can create your future you know what i'm saying um it's something about cancers needing to understand and realize that if you want to be successful in life, if you want certain things to work out for you, you have to continue to speak it into the existence. If 
you keep mentioning about like how dry my phone is, how dry my love life is. That's what you're speaking into your reality. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you really, really want, um, what's this, some hair or something on my neck? That shit is driving me crazy. If you really, really want something to pick up and if you want some change to come into your life, like you have to change the way you talk around certain situations in your life and in your love life and in your finances. Let me um go to Euros real quick because I just want to get the keywords. Euros, love as a desire, eroticism, sensuality, passion, playfulness, sexual health. When in darkness, it means madness, projection, or obsession. So again, it's like you are trying to be reawakened by love, by your passions, by something that you feel like this fault line is missing. Something is cracked and dry. You feel like you deserve it. You feel like you want it. You feel like you need it. Which is fine. However, I feel like the reason why a lot of things went dry and cracked in your life is because you've spoken into, like, sometimes people can, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm never going to find love, or, well, you know, I ain't got no date. Like, you are speaking, you are reinforcing negative energy into your life, you know what I'm saying? So, you need to stop doing that and only speak blessings, and if you're in love with love, Find out why you're in love with love and figure out how to moisten it, how to keep it nourished. You know what I'm saying? How to keep it wet. I, Lord Jesus. And I don't know if, like, you guys are dating someone and it's, like, dry sexually in your life because, like, this person doesn't know what to say to arouse you. Like, this person can't keep you wet. Like, it's very dry. I don't know that's what I'm getting, but I'm letting you know, like, listen, you need to talk to someone that turns you on that is speaking blessings into your ears that's going to keep you moist you understand what i'm saying like i just i don't know why i feel like it's a whole bunch of dry ass sex or something like that is like blowing me let's get into love real quick because i really feel like i need to listen love is in the reverse there is definitely lacking in love and i felt like that is like, y'all feel like it's dry. Like, it's dry ass sex or a dry ass relationship. Like, something that's came to. Like, the ocean has dried out and it's like a desert now. Like, it's, 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 it's terrible. Like, it's really, really terrible. What is this? The Nine of Cups. So, the Nine of Cups is like. Why do I feel like someone is trying to steal everything? And I never get like thievery in the Nine of Cups, but why am I getting thievery in the nine of cups i feel like someone is running away because they want to be by themselves, and it's like they want to take like y'all be careful listen cancer like i don't know if this is you planning on doing this or if this is someone else but it's like someone realized that this situation is dry cracked is dead there's a natural separation because it's just dry whatever last little bits of moisture in and water like you know that there is this person is stealing it and they're running off and they want to have it all to themselves and they're going to leave someone like completely dry. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you may be left dry. Like, it may be. And, I, and I'm getting I'm, now I'm seeing like, have you ever cried so much that your skin is raw? Your face is raw? Like your eyes? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Your eyes are cracking and burning or something like that because this person ran off with all of the love, ran off with everything that you thought was emotionally fulfilling or something like that. Like this person is greedy, self-indulged, like this person could have a drinking problem, narcissist, you know what I'm saying? Like just wants all to their self and don't really give a fuck about what's left for anyone else like so like this could be someone hogging up all the liquor all the juice all of the water they went and hit all of the shit in their room because they want it to their self because that's what feeds their spirit you see what i'm saying like um and this could be you i mean i really do think that this could be very much so you can so like you are like i don't want them to have none i want it all for me like fuck them i'm about to leave them dry you know what i'm saying like i have a new passion in life and i run it towards my passion i'm not staying here with this dry ass shit what is this the seven of pentacles is like this cancer has been sitting around waiting they've been balancing their checkbook they've been looking at all of their resources like they have literally been diligent and been 
taking care of their crops. Like, you understand? They're expecting, they're expecting something to come out very fulfilling. You know what I'm saying? So they're protecting their resources. They're nurturing it. They're catering it. They're taking, like, it's like this person could have needed the water because they needed to put it on their crops in order for the shit to grow because I need this to turn out the correct way. I need this money. You know what I'm saying? So, like, at the end of the day, you just over here wasting water when, bitch, I needed to focus on what I'm growing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, someone could have been wasting some resources or something like that. And you could have felt it was best to take it away and figure out how much money you got left. You know what I'm saying? And figure out how to source it out you know like make it make invest it so it makes money for you back do you understand because it's like someone was wasting out of your emotions out of your love so you took it all and you ran away and you said i'm not giving it to nobody else until i know i'm going to get an investment back because something was in this environment that you did not love and that was not uh a natural love, I want to say. It was not like a natural, free-flowing love. What is this? The Three of Cups, and then you got the Temperance in the reverse. So, you could have been with someone who just likes to party and have fun and things like that. Really doesn't have any spiritual balance or doesn't have any faith, doesn't believe in anything. Like, only thing this person wants to do is party and drink and drug and go hang out with their friends and like they're always going out like this is someone that's always going out and like shares too much of their um attention with other people that's what i'm getting like this could be someone that's offering everything that you have to your friends you know what i'm saying like you can have a bottle of liquor. I don't know why. I, I, I'm seeing a lot of alcohol here. I'm sorry. But it's like you can have a bottle of liquor. And it's like you bought that for yourself and whoever is in the house. And this person is because they want to go out and enjoy themselves. They're taking all of the cups and stuff. And they're giving it to their friends. And they're leaving you high and dry when you the one that paid for the shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you're like, hold on. Let me look and see what, what, how much I got left. This bitch still left? Okay, well, it's all right. I'm about to make what I can work with that. Oh, but this motherfucker ain't coming back in here no more, getting no more of this motherfucker juice. Oh, hell no. You better enjoy yourself while you out there with your friends because you would not be bringing your fucking rap. <laughs> you would not be bringing your rancid ass back up in here stealing no more of my shit. Okay? I don't even have any faith in you that you even going to bring anything back. Like, are you going to replace the shit that I... It's like... Someone taking... I want to say someone taking the support back because they are balancing the books and they're realizing that, listen, ain't no honor amongst thieves. There ain't no honor amongst thieves. Let me see what is this here. Career change. So you guys may be making a career change. There's been a big light that has been shined upon you where you are seeing things clearly now. Things are dry. You could, listen, and I'm going to read it another way. Things are dry right now. And you could be taking yourself out. You could be waiting for the what, what, what am I what am I trying to say? It's like you got a little bit more than half of what you were expecting to get back from your investment. Right. You got a little bit more than half. And it's like, let me just wait and be patient so I can get it all because I don't want to miss a step. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to miss anything. I really am planning on celebrating and enjoying myself. And I can't do that if I'm not patient, and if I'm not waiting and if I'm not taking care of my crops, if I'm not taking care of myself. You understand? Like if I have this resource over here and these people are wasting it. I know eventually I won't have it anymore if I keep investing it in the wrong places. I'm taking it and I'm putting my passion into something that I really fucking love. So you guys may be removing your art. You may be removing your wisdom. You may be removing your gift from a situation so that you can truly celebrate and be able to thrive and be around people that are more like-minded and more aimed towards the success as you are because... Whatever this was that was cracking and was growing dry, it's like you just didn't have any faith in it anymore. It's like I'm not going to continue 
to pour my energy into a cup with holes at the bottom and everything is just leaking out and being wasted. So you are changing, you are embarking upon amongst something because something is dead, it's dry, it's cracked, it's brittle, it's rusted. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you're speaking passion into your life and your existence somewhere else. Look, the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone moving forward successfully like you are planning, like you planned to take everything away you planned to take everything away because you didn't want to invest in it anymore i just it's I, i'm getting a deep sense of someone really taking their time strategizing it's like they watched the water they watched the water run dry they watched it slowly and slowly and slowly and this person was like this shit really about to go dry like i really i never in my life would have thought that this river would have went dry but why sit here and be stupid when i'm too logical i'm too smart for that i'm not going to continue to sit here and keep putting my wishes and faith and worry about something that i clearly see i can't stop i can't change you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't change this. I can't change this. Let me just take my shit and go and see how much I got left so I could get more resources for later. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just about to sit here. It's like, I see, I see the bridge cracking, but I'm still going to go up it. Fuck no. I'm going to tear that bridge down and I'm going to call someone to build a new one. And we just can't go over the bridge for a minute. Like, for real, for real, like, we got to be smart. Do you really have faith that this shit's going to work out? No. You really got faith carrying your big ass across that bridge? No. You know what I'm saying? So you guys are changing something. You got the page of swords in the reverse. So the page of swords means that's like bad news in some type of way. Again, so like now I'm getting like people out celebrating, not paying attention, enjoying too much of itself where... Just suddenly, like, some bad information just came. It's just, like, I don't know if it... I want to say it's, like, someone with bad intentions. It's, like, someone with bad intentions. They, they like, oh, well, this is a party girl. This is a party boy. This, 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 and that. And, like, this person was watching you, watching your behavior, watching your moves, watching... How much you spend money, how freely you give, how, you know what I'm saying? It's like this person was watching you and I feel like this person, I'm serious y'all, I'm getting, I'm getting a story of someone removing their self because shit was dry and I'm getting a story of someone intentionally plotting, planning, and strategizing to steal something from someone so they can leave them high and dry and invest it somewhere else. So this could be like, all right, these are my friends, three of cups. We go out, we celebrate with each other. We do business with each other. We, we play hard and we hustle hard too. So I'm in business with these two people. But at the same time, only thing these motherfuckers want to do is drink. They ain't really trying to get to the money. You understand? Our money and our resources is, is, is drying up. Shit is getting dry. I've been trying to talk to them into going a new way and tallying up our investments and investing in somewhere else. But no, these motherfuckers are not trying to do the research. They're not trying to make this change when I'm telling them that things are drying up fast. I don't have any faith that this is going to work out with them because they're not listening to me. Only thing they want to do is party and not like deeply like because the page of swords is someone deeply investigating something. Really, really reaching and trying to find a way out or to study or understand something. It's like they're. It's like this person is watching them blow their money away or blow their resources away or blow everything the fuck away and then not paying attention and it's like I gotta change my career because at the end of the day if them two want to squander their money and everything that they work for that's fine 
they don't give a fuck about it, then fine. I'll just take it all for myself and I'll go start my own business somewhere else. I don't feel like this is right. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what this is. The Five of Cups, again, someone turning their back on someone. It's like turning your back on the three and just focusing on the two. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I... Like, is you're turning your back when someone feels betrayed, someone feels like someone sabotaged something for their own personal needs and gains. And it's like, and I'm serious, it's like someone was giving all their stuff to someone else. And didn't give a fuck about they, how they feel in the, in the business transaction, in the relationship transaction, in the whatever type of transaction it was. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this person was... These people were more focused on pleasing other people than pleasing the people that are intimately involved in the situation. And it's like, I feel like these people don't fuck with me. I feel like these people don't love me. I feel like once I get over this hurt, you know what I'm saying? Again, seeing what I have left. And trying to figure out how to move forward. But I feel like it's someone that is having to get over the hurt. Because it's like, I, I sat here and watched these motherfuckers do. I, I, I sat here and, and and I watched them squander this money. I watched them just be complete pleasure seekers and not focusing on the money. Not focusing on the business. Not focusing on how shit was operating. And it's just like all going to shits. And these motherfuckers just like turned their back on me. What is this? The snake, again, there was another partner, there was another person in this ordeal, in this situation, in this commitment, in this, uh, it was too many people. It was someone that was slithering around that didn't make it fair for the two people that were initially involved in this. You understand what I'm saying? And that's how things got dry because they were too busy running off, being self-serving, giving it to someone else. Why you sitting over there waiting, tallying up shit, making money. So it's like why you are focusing on balancing the books and shit like that and making sure that everything turns all right. These people would squandering your, your resources. And you look at these motherfuckers as a snake. Like, I don't love this person no more. Like, this, these motherfuckers were supposed to be my partners. And they ended up being my enemy. Do you understand? The love call. No communication with each other. It's like, I don't even want to talk to these motherfuckers. Look, I don't even want to talk to these motherfuckers no more. I'm done. I'm done. Not enough. Whatever they would try to tell you or give you is it's just not enough right now. You understand? Like, I feel like someone went too far. Someone went too far it's like everything that i gave to you you gave that shit to someone else as if you ain't even give a fuck if i even had a piece of it i gotta change the way i'm working with people working then it's definitely has something to do with some type of partnership revolving around business work something it's like it was an emotional entanglement where it was business and emotions all tied and wrapped up into one and it ended up Leaving someone feeling like they were let down and someone destroyed their relationship. You see what I'm saying? And this person now is trying to figure out why did I love this person? Like, why was I trying to speak so much light into this? And they're trying to bring back the love into their life. They're trying to bring back the moisture. They don't want to feel dry. They don't want to feel damaged you know what i'm saying because of what this person did so that's why it's like they're using their mouth their tool to speak positive energy back into their life because right now shit is hella dry because someone tried to steal all their resources y'all so listen oh, i hate to be the bearer of bad news but it's time to make a big change and if you see it happening now you better you better move on it because you see where it's going to come out at the end. So I love you guys. Thank you for loving yourself. Peace.